Got the Groover uh, Technology uh, capacitor module in the uh, a Honda CRF450X. This bike is actually a little overdue on a valve change, so it's it's a bit of a bear to start. But I figured it's about a worst case scenario demonstration. At any rate, uh, the you use the connectors that or the the bolts that come with a normal uh, battery for one of these. So if you're replacing a battery, you got that. Just bolt it on with your end terminals. Real simple installation, and uh, you're just set to go. I took the seat off here just so we could see everything. In it, I'm gonna go ahead and show. It's a winter morning here. We haven't run this thing yet. We're sitting at 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, maybe 25. I don't know. So it's still cold. Hasn't been run yet. We're going to uh, pull the choke. Would you hold this for a minute? Give me two shots of gas. Ah, died once. Get another one. And I'm just going to go ahead and kill it now and just show that it'll start a couple of times. Kill it again. Kill it again. Well, at any rate, you can see we get a bunch of stars. We might even get, might sneak one more out of it. So you can see you get several attempts uh, starting this thing. You probably get six, six to seven shots at uh, getting it, getting it fired up, uh, even with it super cold. Uh, the capacitor doesn't does not suffer at all from the cold. Actually, it, it's only it's only the motor being uh, all the oil being cold and a lot harder to turn over. Um, the capacitor, unlike a battery, uh, still has full full starting power down to like negative 60, negative 100 degrees. Uh, it it does, just doesn't suffer. So anyway, that's it. Um, just wanted to show how to do in about a worst case scenario so anything smaller than this you're going to get more tries more attempts all the way down to we uh did another video of the honda 150 sitting here that gets 20 25 attempts easy so probably more than in any case it's probably more than you would get with a stock battery uh, especially especially in cold conditions anyway check out the video description for uh links for more information on getting one of these for yourself or just uh, learning more about it and uh, have a good one bit on the video uh, you just saw. Uh, I, I mentioned in there that uh, it, it starts a lot of times you'll get more cranks out of it than a stock battery. I just wanted to cl kind of clarify that a little bit. You will get a lot stronger start and um, I, I said you get more starts and that is true of uh, what I've tested between three different bikes of a battery that was one year old. Um, obviously a brand new battery in good conditions uh, has a lot more capacity than uh, a capacitor does. They got a lot more uh, energy density and you'll be able to sit there and crank a lot longer as long as you let the battery you know rest b between each cranking attempt. Um, it will go longer on a brand new battery but I replaced batteries that were a year old and um, I did actually get much better especially on the 450. I think the 450 um, it, it pulls a lot of power. It's really rough on batteries. Um, a lot of times I would only get one or two tries with the battery that was in it. And that was with, uh, it wasn't that battery, it was a YZF, you know, it was one of the $100 top of the line batteries. And it, it still was much better with the capacitors. Also, I want to mention that um, you'd have to run a bike for probably an hour or so to recharge a battery to where, you know, after doing that many cranks. The capacitors, uh, you only have to run the bike uh, around... Depending on the bike, I've seen the, the charge rates vary from 1 to 4 amps. All the Hondas I've tested do close to 4 amps of charging, which means these things are going to charge in less than 2 minutes. So, I mean, 2 minutes of runtime will completely recharge these things if, if you run it all the way dead. So that's another big thing. Worst case, you do run it all the way dead, whatever happens. You kick start, you run for 2 minutes, and all of a sudden it's completely full again. You haven't done any damage to it. You're ready to go. So... You're a lot more likely to not be left stranded with a capacitor set up than you would be otherwise. At any rate, enjoy guys. See you in the next video.